Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to look at painting a loose style thistle. Um, I had several practice attempts to do this workshop and um, I quite like the shape of this one. I thought it looked like a thistle. You can add a little bee if you want. This one looked more like a pineapple. And it's weird because if you actually look at the shape of a thistle on your reference picture, you'll see that they are not usually totally round, but the pictures I did of a round base actually, I think, looked looked better and more like a thistle. That was a pineapple. I wasn't happy with that one. So this is what I'm going to talk you through how I created this, well, similar, can never do the same thing twice, um, and how we do it. So what you need is your piece of watercolour paper. You need a reference photo. I used Pixabay and just put in Scottish thistles in the search and came up with lots of lovely pictures of thistles. You need to have a look and have a look at the kind of colours and how they change and um, the shape and then really you don't need to do much of a sketch if you can see on my little sketch here oh, get it in the middle um, I've just basically outlined where I'm going to put the thistles and nothing really more detailed than that now the colors I'm using I've put a little a blob of paint on my palette and I don't know if I'm going to use them all but I'll put them on there anyway. I can't remember exactly what I used for the other one so it's an experiment. Prussian blue, violet, deep green, sap green, gamboogie, yellow ochre, burnt umber and burnt sienna. That's what I've got for now. And I'm using, this one's a five, and I've got a four as well. Um, and I'll probably, you either need a toothbrush or a very stiff bristled brush if you want to do any splatters. You need your pot of water, and I'd forgot it. Right kitchen roll and the other thing that is really really handy to have is just a, an old scrap of paper and then you can test a colour out or maybe take some paint off your brush um, as you go along it's really handy so I usually just kind of position it underneath my, my palette um, and I have lots of those lurking around, I find. Look, all these different little bits of scrap paper where I've splodged things just to get it off my brush. Okay, so I'm going to start with the top of the flower, so the, the colourful bit. Um, and I'm going to put a little water on my brush and I'm going to go straight in for some, some neat violet colour. Now I don't want the brush too wet, so I'm going to take a bit of that paint off. And I'm going to, I start, if you've got two flowers, I start on the left, because I'm right-handed and I don't want to be dragging my hand in the right-hand flower as I'm doing the left, okay? But if you're, if you're left-handed, you might want to go the other way. Now, because I've got quite a dry brush, you can see that I can get, you know, that thistly, thin little lines, just doing that, just messily. Just to start, start the thing off. So reasonably dry brush, that's the trick here, not too wet. And then you can 
get all your Sicily bits done. And then you can put a bit of water on and you can then add a bit of colour, a bit of water. If you look at your reference photo, you've normally got a bit darker underneath. So maybe stick a bit of your Prussian blue in there. Darken it up. Or some neat colour. Bit, just a bit of water. Now I'm taking the, probably a bit too much water on there. I'll take a tiny bit of that off. Get a bit of my kitchen roll. bit more colour. Okay. And I might bit of burnt sienna just here and there. If you look at the um, your reference photos there's all sorts of different shades and just don't make it a flat colour. And then while I've got my, my paint wet I'd probably just Sometimes I do this right at the end, sometimes I do it as I go along just so that I can give it a couple of layers. Okay, so let's move on to the actual base of the thistle now. And I'm going to put a, a layer of sap green. start with. And don't worry if your colours bleed in. That's the nice thing about. Now I'm going to put a bit of a bit of my burnt umber. And don't worry about white spaces either. Sometimes a little bit of white just left looks quite nice. That's given it a bit more life and a bit more character. And I might just put a bit of yellow over here. Lighten it up a, a tad. Give it a bit of sunlight. Might try that in the purple as well. Don't know if it'll work as well. Add a bit of water. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a minute. Actually, before we, before it dries, you can just pull out. So with a dry brush, just going around the edges. So pull out those prickly, thistly bits like this. So you're pulling the existing paint out. The colours that are already there. I've got no paint on my brush at all. I'm just in a very messy, haphazard fashion. Pulling out the prickly bits. So that's beginning to look more Sicily. Okay, now I'm going back to my sap green that I'm going to mix with a little bit of the burnt umber just to make it a bit darker and then I'm just gonna again quite a dry brush you'll notice on your reference picture that the, the thistle has a lot of just sticky stalky bits prickly horrible things like that 
Okay, so we're going to leave that one to dry for a little bit and we'll work on this one over here. So again, a reasonably dry brush just on the pointy end. You've got a bit of purple. So to get those, get the flower head first. Obviously I'm doing this pretty quickly, it'll probably take a bit more time. Over it, so there we go. Add a bit of splodge of colour in there. And a bit of Prussian blue. together and then we'll go in with our purple again and just while we've got it we might go in and just refresh that one again okay now I'm going to go in with the sap green again And then we're going to tone that down with a bit of burnt umber, just where it might be a bit shaded. Maybe a bit, a bit of sun over here. And then in with our mixture of sap green and burnt umber. Oh, actually, I haven't done my bristles yet, have I? Do that in a sec. So, dry brush, clean brush, and pulling out. Colour. Move your paper, otherwise you don't get the angles of your bristly bits going the right way. the paint that you've got still on your brush from doing that to come down here and just add in a bit and then you could if you wanted to get a bit of burnt umber and sap green and do you know the head maybe of a unflowering this all had. So you do it the same way you do that. So you'd have a range of colours, you might have a bit a bit browner down there because it's a bit shaded. You might want to put a bit of burnt sienna on it. And then again, clean brush. 
in your brush. Pull it out. Just the illusions of some more that's coming up, and then you can go back and you know add some more depths, a bit more color, a bit more shading. You might want some brown splatters in there, just pale, maybe a bit more. A bit of splatter in with some brown. Probably put too much there, so I'll probably take a tiny bit of that off. But there you go. That is how I've done a loose thistle. And if you take your time, you might get a little slightly better. Um, and more depth and think about your composition more. You could add a nice B, like I did and this one, a little B or a butterfly. There's some good reference photos that you can copy. But to give you, giving these a bit more shape and depth, think about your kind of shading um, to make them appear more 3D. Think about where the sun might be hitting. Where might it be? A little darker so in here underneath it's going to be darker it's underneath the head and the bottom of the bottom of the flower is going to be darker than the top where the light's hitting okay so think about those things while you're doing your painting but obviously it's not realistic painting is it, it doesn't look exactly like a botan botanical reference picture but the image and the overall effect is there if you've got any questions just message me on facebook or ask in the facebook room for the watercolor students um, and i'll be happy to answer any questions <laughs>